What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Slime Quest TV. Today we're talking Hummingbird Helix units once again and we're going to be going over the SI Chirp Frequency Spectrum and uh, on the Gen 1 units guys they all shot at 455 or 800 kilohertz. You got a pretty good image but they took Mega and they actually made it shoot a, a frequency spectrum. A range of frequencies. For instance on this Gen 2 unit behind me from 1150 to 1275 megahertz, which actually covers a good basis of water, especially if you're over rocks, gravel, sand, any kind of hard bottom transitions, you're gonna see awesome on this setting. But a lot of you guys have noticed that over soft bottom, like mud or silt, you're not getting a good picture. The picture is really dark, you can't make out shadows, and that's what we'll be talking about today, guys, is lowering that frequency spectrum lower range so you guys can get the most out of your mega imaging and get the clearest picture over all bottoms not just hard bottom and sand all right guys we're going to get into this right now i actually wanted to shoot this outside on the boat and i actually tried earlier today and the sun glare was just so bad i couldn't shoot it so i figured why not shoot it in the garage so everybody can see every button i'm pushing and actually see the screen well because this is something you really need to see so to do this we're gonna hit this menu button over here twice and get to our main menu here. If you're scrolled all the way over here, we're gonna scroll on over to your setup and just hit the arrow button up once. If you hit the arrow button up once, you're not gonna to have to scroll down 100 times to the bottom of the screen. So you hit the arrow button up once, we can see right here we got chirp configuration and then we're gonna arrow over to the right. Now right here, we actually, we're gonna have some more videos on this too, so stay tuned. And subscribe so you guys don't miss out on these next couple videos over all these chirp frequency spectrums but we're actually going to go down to si chirp frequency spectrum and we're going to cursor over to the right now right here we have all our different frequencies if we're using 455 800 or mega and today we're going to be talking about mega i'm actually going to go down to mega and this is the start frequency this is what we want to lower down we can lower this all the way down to a thousand I like to lower this down when I'm on a, a lake that has any sort of soft bottom that I might be fishing over. I'm going to drop this down. Just hold the button. I'm going to drop this down to about 1050. And now, the SI stop end frequency, I'm actually going to bring it down to about... 1175 all right guys it's as easy as that that's how you change your si chirp frequency settings and uh i can guarantee you once you lower these settings down or your frequencies down you're going to get a better picture all around the entire lake i noticed right away when i got over some of my good spawning bays soft bottom bays mud bays that I just wasn't getting up. My picture was all blacked out. Couldn't see fish shadows. Couldn't see the weed shadows. And uh, it took me a minute. And I figured out, lower this setting down. And you're actually going to get a great clear picture. A bright picture over them soft bottom bays. And you're still going to get a great picture over those rocks. Now, if you guys start, you know, you mess with them on your lakes. It could be a little bit different. You can keep that up there a little bit higher. But change those frequency spectrums a little bit to see what gives you the clearest picture. And uh, if you get them totally out of whack, I'm going to show you right now how to t totally reset all these settings. And if you just exit out of here one time, you got local configuration reset. And you can see that just reset back to the 1150 to 1275 megahertz. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned next week. We got some more settings going on in the Humminbird here we're going to be talking about. So please subscribe, guys. Like the video and share with your friends. And we'll see you next time on SlimeQuest TV.